Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Le va a contar toda la historia mientras está ahí colgado. Hey, you guys get out of here. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No. Bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Primera parte, el embargo de largo. Bueno, vemos que Gaibras está forrado, está forradísimo. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. No tiene nada que ver 
con el Monkey Island 1, porque allí no consiguió nada, absolutamente nada. Supongo que esto tendrá que ver con lo que habrá hecho después, como pirata. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. <laughs> y quién me va a obligar, tapón? You're gonna make me, shorty. Tough guy, huh? Help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Y entonces, ¿quién corta el tráfico y tira botes de humo? Donuts and roughs up the transients. I roughs up on these roughing up on this island. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Qué cara se la ha quedado. <laughs> Tough town. I guess I should have got those travelers checks. Nada, nos ha robado todo. No tenemos absolutamente nada en el inventario, así que va, vamos a ver, a ver qué podemos hacer. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Vale, ya empezamos. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Vamos a hablar con él. <clears throat> yeah. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him. But I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Wow. Vale. Él nos puede crear un muñeco voodoo de Largo. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith. Which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Pero si un roedor pudiera roer y roer alguna cantidad de robles, ¿cuántos robles roería un roedor? Un roedor. Could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood. What amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? Bueno, esto no termina. Should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Menos, like man, mejor, cállate. Sure thing. Vale. De aquí hemos sacado que él nos puede construir un muñeco voodoo. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Bar el labio partido. Qué asco. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Por culpa de largo. All my regular spook. Claro. You know I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there? Uh oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass.
fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Bueno, Guybrush también le ha dado todo su dinero. A ver, yo pensaba que era el... El carpintero, el que iba a crear el, el muñeco, pero no. No va a ser él. Todo el mundo quiere crear uno y dice que nadie puede crearlo. Pues vamos a tener que ser nosotros. Un anuncio. No cover charge. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It's a metronome. Hey! Hired help only! Solo para empleados. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Nice place, yeah. Aquí... <laughs> well, no hay nada. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? El mata lechak. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, lechak busting stud. Uh huh. A nadie le importa. Excuse me. Yes. Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. ¿Dónde está la mansión de la gobernadora? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Bloody, me imagino. Any time. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Hmm. Interesante. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well... I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Mm, vale. Eh, a ver si no lo cuenta. No, directamente. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? 
whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island, and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. If it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo, of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Vale, entonces sabemos que el mapa está dividido en cuatro trozos y que para encontrarlos tenemos que ir a la biblioteca de Paz Island. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Yo prefiero detenerme y preguntar. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Vale, yo creo que ya está. Okie dokie. Vale, dice que su investigación la tiene guardada en algún sitio, no sé. Nice map. Thanks. No, parece que aquí no hay nada. It's a pile of blank paper. Me puedo llevar uno. Sí. I've got enough. Con uno basta, vale. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. ¿Y cómo lo vas a pagar si no tienes dinero? Nice. Be with you in a second. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Y no me lo va a dejar entrar. Right That's a private room. No going up there. Me tengo que librar de él. Oh, isn't that cute? That's securely fastened. Vale, hay que cortarla. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Este está sordo. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out, Stu. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Eso sí lo entendido. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, 
Y gritando, supongo que esto estará gritando. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you, but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Vale, necesito un ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. It's just a bucket. Me lo puedo llevar. Hey, leave that no. alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. Entonces, ¿qué más te da? I guess not. Vale, me he llevado el cubo. Now what is it? Long time no see. No se acuerdan de mí, ya verá. Do we know you? <ríe> vale, estos son los que me querían vender el, el mapa. I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. What does this have to do with performing? I'm getting to that. The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Wolf. Todo el mundo va tras, tras el Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom. <laughs> so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. Seguro que fue Stan el que le vendió la el barco. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already. He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Hmm. Vale, pues sí, ¿por qué no? Sure. Thanks. Si me das el dinero. Here's some money for the polish. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. <laughs> performing. Seguro. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Vale, tenemos una moneda para comprar cera.
Vamos a hablar con el carpintero. Clavos, martillo. It says Woody. That's me. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. <clears throat> yeah. Quiero comprar cera para lustrar madera. That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Vale, ya tenemos cera. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Vale, si lo vuelvo a hacer me da otro doblón más. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Sí, dos doblones. Bueno, si me hace falta algo de dinero, sé dónde venir a buscarlo. Vamos a salir del pueblo. Esta es la playa donde vimos. Bueno, vamos a hablar con los piratas. A ver si... Aquí hay una ramita. A ver si me dicen algo. He's back. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh, no. Not this story again. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named... Captain Dredd. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really. Once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Well... I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Steam and weenies, 20 feet. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Hmm, this door appears looks closed. Cerrado. Y por aquí nada. Tenemos el pantano, la península, el cementerio y ya está. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy.
Display model. Vale, a ver si me puedo llevar. It appears to be bolted to the table. No, no me puedo llevar la calavera. No thanks. I don't need it. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Wart remover. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Skink toes. Eau de mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Golden tongue. The five day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. Spider lungs. Bat wax. Era de murciélago. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. No, that stuff's way too technical for me. They're unlabeled. They're unlabeled. Guy Brush Threepwood, it's been a long time since you last came to see me. Al menos ella me recuerda. Pero él no. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Vale, aquí lo tenemos. Ella es la que va a hacer el, el muñeco voodoo. Y necesito... What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread. Something of the head. Something of the body. And something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Shopping, shopping list, la lista de la compra. Vale, ya sabemos lo que necesitamos. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread. Something of the head. Something of the body and something of the dead. Vale, algo de, sus, de los muertos tiene que estar en el cementerio. Así que vamos a ir al cementerio. Rickets, no trespassing. Here lies Nibbles the dog. He was a bad dog. We're glad he's dead. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. It's done. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. Marco Largo Legrand. Aquí está. See your sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. Vale, necesito una pala.
welcome to Wood Tick. No treads are hunting zone. Vale, aquí hay una pala. Oops. I think I broke the sign. Así que me llevo la pala y a ver si saco algo de los muertos. La pala en la tumba. This is creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Vale, ya tengo una de las cuatro cosas que necesito. Decía algo de ropa y antes hemos ido a la lavandería. Bueno, vamos a ir a la península primero. Are you Captain Dread? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dread. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck charm. Vale, conocemos al navegante este. Usamos su cabeza para encontrar la guarida de Lechak. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay, bye, man. Come again. Pues nada, mientras no le demos el amuleto y no hagamos que el Argo se vaya, no podemos fletar el barco. Vale, esta es la saliva que Largo ha, ha escupido antes, así que tenemos la segunda cosa. Algo, uh, ahí está. Yeah. Ya tenemos dos cosas. Falta algo del pelo y algo de ropa. Aquí no ha cambiado nada. A ver... Ah, la ventana. Puedo entrar a la cocina por la ventana.
It's a cold potato and leek soup. Vale, me llevo el cuchillo. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Vale, este no quiere ni hablar. Y salir por la ventana no sé si podrá. Sí. Vale, tenemos un cuchillo. El cuchillo podemos cortar la cuerda. A ver. La cuerda del caimán. Hey, how old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Y ahora sí que puedo entrar dentro de eh, del camarote de largo. Ah, estaba abierta. Yo le he cerrado. Peluca, mira, ya tenemos algo del pelo. It's empty. Vacío. Nice. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Vale. Te queda medio abierta la puerta. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Vamos a volver al pantano. Cogemos un poquito de... Sí, usamos el cubo con el pantano y nos llevamos algo de... De barro. Ahora cerramos la puerta y como se queda un poquito abierta... Se aguanta el cubo de barro encima. I think I hear Largo coming. <risa> hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't... Get this thing off my head! When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. No. He looked pretty steamed. Yo creo que sí, deberías haberlo hecho. Ahora, vamos a... Obviamente, como tiene toda la ropa sucia, va a ir a que se la laven. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come! <laughs> I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years! I said, I need it back tonight! What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night! This is useless! You tell them I'll be back to pick it up, or else. Vale, vamos a, ver, a volver a la habitación y tenemos que encontrar el ticket porque le ha dado un ticket, el ticket de la lavandería.
I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Una pata de palo, un loro. <laughs> ah, here it comes. Ya tenemos las cuatro cosas. Pues volvemos al pantano. A hablar con la bruja. Y para que nos fabrique un, un muñeco vudú. Ay no, si esto es el, el cementerio. El pantano. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Uh, about that voodoo doll? Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Vale, tenemos los alfileres y el muñeco si usamos. I think Largo's out of voodoo range. Pues ahora tenemos que encontrar a Largo, a ver dónde está. A ver si está en la lavandería. No. Y en el bar, quizás. Tampoco. Eh, 
Hey! Ah, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room! Oh. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... What? Hey! What? What? Oh! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. Ay, la cago. What's that? <laughs> la cagaste. You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and... Wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee. Thanks. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rapscallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They buried your treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rapscallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. Ya hemos visto ese kiosco. Sabemos dónde está. Success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Tenemos que encontrar las cuatro partes del, del mapa. Pero claro, necesitamos un barco. Y ya hemos hecho una de las cosas que había que hacer, que era echar a largo 
Pero nos falta encontrar el amuleto. Que se supone que tiene forma de ojo. Hello. Mira, Wally suelta su, mon, eh, su monóculo, lo suelta ahí de vez en cuando. Ahí está. Este puede ser el amuleto que le hace falta. Hey, si le damos. Y le damos el libro a Wally. Vale, vamos a darle... Vale, vamos a dárselo primero. Y vamos a darle el libro. No, no, no. Quiero dárselo. No, gracias. No. Pero si ahí estaba la información que le estaba buscando. Vale, voy a quitar el monóculo otra vez. Ya está. Gang. Vale, si le damos el monóculo como si fuera su amuleto, a ver si, si lo acepta. Fletar un barco. I need a charter ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lagos been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is. That you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. 20 doblones, yeah. me hacen falta. Right. I'm broke. Bueno, tengo dos doblones. Vale, si en cero la pata de palo 18 veces más me dará 18 doblones. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. No creo que haya que hacer esto 18 veces. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Vale, vamos a usar la ramita con la caja. Ahí está. Claro, necesita algo de comida para atrapar la rata. En el cuarto que usaba largo antes había un montón de comida. No sé si podré llevarme algo de comida. O aquí en el plato. 
Cheese squiggly. Ah, ahí está, What quesito. Vale, a la rata le gustan los quesitos. Vale, a ver ahora. Y... No. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. No, si me acerco. Vale, hay que atarle algún algún hilo para que yo esté lejos. ¿De dónde puedo sacar un hilo? Un hilo o una, una cuerda, algo. La cuerda que corté antes. ¿Dónde está? Se la llevó el... Sí, el lagarto ese. Era una iguana, me parece. Vale, quizá el carpintero tenga alguna cuerda y no me haya dado cuenta. En el cementerio, quizás. Ah, ¿dónde estará la cuerda? La cuerda debería ser la que estaba el caimán atado, en teoría, ¿o no? O a lo mejor por aquí. 
Hmm. Only one guest. They look pretty old. Messy, messy, mess. I swear I put it right here. I hope I didn't lose it. Vale, algo me ha faltado. Algún sitio que examinar. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? No, aquí solo se puede hablar, así que... ¿Dónde no he ido todavía? I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Al bar. No sé si el bar lo he mirado. Come again. Ah, oh, ¿dónde está la hechicera? La hechicera no la he mirado. A ver, es que... Sí, voy a ir a la hechicera, a ver. A ver si entre tantas cosas tenía una cuerda por ahí. Esto ya lo vi. Cordel. Ahí está. Well, just take a little. Uf. No es fácil de encontrar, ¿eh? Vale, ahora atamos la cuerda al palo y ahora sí. Ahora. Won't fit in my pocket. No sé si ha... Si abro la caja, ¿se abrirá? No, se queda dentro. Vale, ya tengo la rata.
Vale, ahora usamos la rata con la viquisua. Good thing this is a cold soup. Y menos mal que una, una sopa fría, es verdad. Y ahora vamos a pedirle algo de comer al barman. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my God! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. No, ya no quiero. I'm really not that hungry. <laughs> Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah, you interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Vale, ¿cuánto dinero me he dado? 425 doblones. Ya tenemos los 20 doblones que hacen falta para fletar el barco. Obviamente no me va a dejar ir. The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. Claro. Yuck, the rat's been swimming in it. Pero podemos escapar por la por la ventana, así que ya tenemos dinero para fletar un barco. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is... that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man. Consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? <laughs> You're standing in it. <laughs> Está en él. Likes. 